I'm going to show in this video. I'm going to show you how to create an exploded uh, view of this uh, part, the T9 automobile. I'm going to start off by making sure that my front view is set correctly. I'm going to go to my front view, and this this should be your front view. And if it's not, uh, navigate to this view, uh, select here, and set current view as front. And your ISO view should look like that. Now, uh, go ahead and save your new view. Save it. And I might go to presentation. Create a presentation. I'm going to create a view, and uh, the, the the default view will be the assembly that you have open. And so when you open it, it should look like this. I'm going to go ahead and set this as my set current view as home and fixed distance so that when I click this little home uh, icon it'll bring me back to this view. I'm going to do what's called a tweak, point to tweak, and I'm going to select components. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to pick the uh, tire and the hub and zoom in and I'm going to select this axis and hit direction. And I'm going to hover over here and until I get an axis that looks kind of like that. And click. And then I'm going to zoom out and pick the blue z-axis and pull the part out, the wheel out to say about like right there. And hit clear. And I'm going to select components again. But this time I'm not going to select the axle. I'm just going to select the tire and the hub. And then set the direction again and uh, click, select this axis here and pull it out like that so that uh, it clear and close. So I'm going to do that for the other four wheels. Now I'm going to um, remove the, the roof, raise the roof, and I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to tweak once more and select component, select that component, and then uh, select that, and choose direction, choose this, pull it up, zoom out, uh, pull them out further, kind of like right there, and clear. Uh, choose component. This time, just just pick the the windshield and not the uh, part underneath it. Uh, choose direction. Choose this direction. Pull it up. And clear and close. I'm going to pull this uh, this part forward. I'm gonna tweak. Uh, let's see. Choose component and choose that and direction and pull it in this direction, and clear, choose component, choose this one, the direction is this direction, pull it out, and clear, choose component, choose this component, direction, out, hit clear, choose component, that component, the direction, choose this direction and pull it out and hit uh, clear. Do the same for the back assembly, pull it out and tweak it all out. Your final assembly should look like that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, select this menu here and set current view as front. I'm going to create a new drawing and place my base view, which is the exploded view drawing that I just created. And that's a little too big. I'm going to set it at uh, half scale. Set it down approximately 
there. I'm going to call my assembly T9 exploded. Uh, hit escape to exit to end that command. I'm going to add another view. I'm going to add a, a view, a, um, but this time I'm going to find my uh, assembled, not my, my assembled car like that, and uh, hit open. And I'm going to put an ISO view, uh, make it shaded, I'll leave the scale about that's fine with the scale, and hit escape. Uh, select. I'm going to move this view up here to the corner. I'm going to uh, double click it and change, take, make it shaded and hit OK. I'm going to add a, uh, do some annotation. I'm going to add a, a parts list. Uh, it's asking me to select a view. I'm going to select this front view, the exploded view, and hit OK. Uh, select my, just put my build materials right there. Zoom in and I'm going to edit it. I'm going to delete the part number because the description and the part number are the same. So I'm going to double click on, double click on it. Brings up this menu. I'm going to select this first icon and I'm going to delete the part number. I'm going to remove it. Hit OK. And hit OK. And there's my bill of material. I'm going to edit it a bit. I'm going to choose this column uh, here and bring it in, close it a little bit. Uh, choose this column and bring it in a little bit. And then choose this column and bring it out. Kind of like that. And I could choose the bomb and bring it down and place it there. I'm going to uh, add uh, balloons. Zoom in. And I'm going to put a balloon here. Click, drag it out, click, right mouse button, continue. Let's click, click, right mouse button, continue. Click, click, right mouse button, continue. Do the wheel. Uh, click, click, right mouse button, continue, and then the axle. Click, click, right mouse button, continue. I'm going to specify that uh, there are multiple parts. I'm going to uh, use my annotate with the leader. And I'm going to zoom in here and uh, point to this, bring it out here. And I'm going to type in a capital X4 and OK. I'm going to hit escape twice. And I'm going to hover over this uh, right mouse, select the dimension, and right mouse click, and I'm going to uh, delete the leader. And same here. So the process is you uh, draw a leader, point to the part, place where you want to uh, put your text, uh, right, continue. 
Control X4. Hit OK. And then hit Escape twice, right mouse button, and the Delete Leader, and it should look like that. You can do the same for the other locations. Uh, there's uh, this is, these are used twice each. Uh, you can add the, those notations, but your bomb should look like this. Your finished drawing should look like this. Uh, export to PDF and uh, submit to LMS to complete your assignment. 